British Prime Minister Boris Johnson looks set to string out Brexit trade talks with Brussels, letting a self-imposed deadline pass Thursday without a deal. Johnson had previously said October 15th would be the last day to secure a trade deal for EU-UK relations post-divorce, a unilateral deadline that did little to advance talks. Dave Keating told us more from Brussels. Today, we're waiting to hear from Boris Johnson on his decision about whether he will continue talks. He did say last month that yesterday was the deadline for a deal, but already we have indications that he's going to go back on that threat. The UK side has been finessing his message this week, saying that what he meant was that he would assess whether there had been enough progress to justify continuing talks. So indications are that he will decide to continue talks. But yesterday's council outcome was the exact opposite of what he wanted. The the UK had hoped that the EU would adjust its negotiating mandate, uh, and it was hoping that splits would emerge between the EU 27 states, particularly on the issue of fisheries. It was hoping that other countries would separate themselves from France's more hardline position on that. That very evidently didn't happen. The 27 EU leaders very quickly came out with council conclusions that backed the existing mandate uh, and basically ignored Boris Johnson's threat. And last night, even the leaders of countries that are most exposed to the dangers of hardline uh, of a no deal Brexit, uh, said that the EU needs to stay firm on its existing position. Belgian Prime Minister Alexander de Croo uh, saying that the EU can't let time pressures force it into a bad deal because, in the long term, that would be worse than the short term economic damage from a no deal next year, even though that damage will be very, very significant if it happens.